The magnetic potential energy stored in an inductor is given by the expression one half times the inductance times the square of the current through the inductor. Let's derive this expression. The expression we're going to derive is that the magnetic potential energy of an inductor is equal to one half L I squared. Let's say we have an inductor. This inductor has inductance L and a current running through it. This current running through the inductor is running through it from left to right. The current is going away from us at the top of the inductor and towards us at the bottom of the inductor. This current, current establishes a magnetic field going to the left as we could show by the application of the right hand rule. Well, to show this expression for potential energy, let's start off with an expression we're already familiar with, power. Now remember, power is given as the product of the current of a circuit component and the potential difference of that circuit component. Remember, we can express power to be equal to the time rate of change of energy. So for this, this will be the time rate of change of the potential energy of the inductor, which is an energy stored in the magnetic field of the inductor. And this is equal to the product of the current through the inductor and the potential difference of the inductor. So remember from our previous derivation that the potential energy of an inductor is just equal to the self-induced EMF of the inductor, the magnitude of which is just equal to the product of the inductance times the time rate of change of current through the inductor. So let's take this expression for the self-induced EMF and plug it into our expression for power. So the power of the inductor being equal to the time rate of change of the magnetic potential energy in the inductor is equal to the product of the current and the inductance and the time rate of change of current in our inductor. Let's solve this for potential energy by integrating both sides first with respect to time. A change of variables reveals that the left-hand side is the integral with respect to the potential energy. And let's evaluate this from some initial time where we have zero potential energy to some final time. So we'll say we'll allow the current in the inductor to increase. Now the right-hand side is just simply the integral with respect to the current of the product of the current and the inductance. And again, from some initial current of zero to some final current. When we evaluate the derivative, we have the potential energy stored in the magnetic field from some zero initial potential energy to some final potential energy is equal to one half the inductance of the inductor, of the inductor times the current squared evaluated from zero to our final current. When we plug in our limits of integration, we get our expression for the magnetic potential energy stored by an inductor being equal to one half the product of the inductance and the current running through the inductor.